welcome to sai surya academy if you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and support us in today's video we are going to discuss about types of constants in c in the previous video we had already discussed about the constants introduction that is how to initialize or how to define a constant what is the syntax for defining a constant and what are the methods for defining a constants here just a small recap about the part 1 video what is a constants constants refers to the that is they are the fixed values fixed values in which after declaration or after initialization the value remains the same throughout the c program this constants can be defined using two types that is using the constant keyword which is defined by the compiler and then the next one hash define that is it is a pre processor it is defined by the pre processor or it is called the macros predefined macros in which the values will be replaced by the pre processor and handled by the pre processor by using this constant keyword and hash define pre processor we can be able to define the constant or initialize the constant in the previous video itself we had represented an example of how to initialize a constant and how to use the hash define you can refer the previous video i will provide in the i button now in today's video moving on to today's video we are going to discuss about constant types here i had discussed in a very very simple manner and only the key points are discussed so just watch the video fully and get the full information okay the constant types refers to the two types the major two division that is it consists of numeric constants and then the character constants within the numeric constant it consists of integer constants and the real constants and then within the character constant it consists of a single character constant and the string constants we will discuss one by one in detail okay first when moving on to the integer constant we all know that the integer is just a whole number or it just it consists of a sequence of digits it can be of any positive number or a negative number consider the example a just a decimal integer now the integer constant also refers to three types don't get confused integer constant types are decimal integer octal integer and the hexadecimal integer normally we prefer or we use only decimal integers in rare cases only or occasionally octal and the hexadecimal constants are used so you just know that how to represent a octal number and a hexadecimal number first the decimal integer a small example consider number 124 this is a decimal integer valid decimal integer minus 124 that is when a number is written without any sign it is considered as a positive number minus 124 a negative number zero and then plus 78 these are the valid numbers consider the same number 124 or consider 20000 20, 30 these commas are not allowed or similarly 20 space 30 this is also not allowed that is white space or the blank space are not allowed in the integer constants and then special symbols consider dollar 25 here dollar is a special symbol these are all the invalid decimal integers 
hope you would be now clear and then next comes the octal in integer we have know that the octal numbers consists of only numbers from 0 to 7 the other numbers are not allowed so we can represent the octal integer using the numbers only from 0 to 7 then how to differentiate between a decimal integer and a octal integer the octal integer integer is preceded with a zero any numbers preceded with a zero that is the octal numbers only you should represent numbers more than 8 9 cannot be written or cannot be represented examples valid octal integers are 0 2 3 here 2 3 is the octal integer that is the numbers only from 0 to 7 here 0 is preceded 0 7 5 0 5 2 these are all the octal integers and then the next one hexadecimal integer again the hexadecimal numbers are represented using alphabets that is 0 to 9 numbers are represented as it is and then from 10 to 15 it is represented as a to f so when you are using the hexadecimal you have to represent the hexadecimal numbers preceded by a 0 x here for often we are representing as preceding a 0 and here in hexadecimal 0 x that is the difference between a decimal integer, octal integer and a hexadecimal integer. Octal preceded by 0 and hexadecimal by 0x. Consider example 0x5, it is a hexadecimal integer and then 0x9a. A stands for 10 value. Its original decimal value is 10. So 9a is a hexadecimal number. This number is preceded by the 0x value. Okay. And then for representing a large integers, some qualifiers are allowed here. That is u, u, l, l. This u stands for unsigned integer. U, l stands for unsigned long integer u stands for unsigned these are called the qualifiers unsigned integer l stands for long integer u l stands for unsigned long integer consider examples just a decimal numbers 513u this u stands for unsigned integer and then another number 98327l which stands for l stands for long integer and then 9532834ul which stands for ul stands for unsigned long integers these numbers can be, this UL can be represented by capital letters or small letters. Similarly, other qualifiers also can be used in both cases, lower case as well as upper cases. So, these are all the details about the integer constants. In the integer constants, three types we had discussed and some qualifiers we had discussed. And in the numeric constant, next we are moving to the real constants. The real constant integer numbers which consist of varying values such as temperatures, prices and so many or speed or so many things can be represented using a decimal point. So these numbers with the decimal point is called the real constants. It can be also any positive or negative. Similarly blank spaces special symbols or anything is not allowed here. Consider the valid examples 0 0.0075 a valid number minus 0 0.83 another valid number plus 
3 2 each and every digit is having a decimal point hence it is the real constant here also when you, you cannot be able to write dollar 23.52 is not allowed here this is a invalid number and then when we are using a large numbers we can use this represent using a exponential form which consists of a matrix of and the exponential part here consider this number matrix on exponential part is nothing but the we can represent in using the e e qualify e5 or e3 depending upon the numbers consider this number 75 followed by a five zeros this can be written as a 75 e5 this 75 is called the matrix of part and the number following the e is called the exponent part the same number can be represented using 7.5 e6 that is 1 2 3 4 5 5 zeros and then again 5 so 7.5 6 digits we are moving e6 similarly when we are moving from the left to the right here 0.30575 this can be written as 5.75 e minus 4 sorry minus 5.75 e minus 4 when we are moving from the left to the right why is e minus 4 three zeros preceding 1 2 3 5.75 so four digits we are moving from the decimal point from the left so 5.75 e minus 4 this is the real constants that is the matrix of part and the exponential part hope you would be clear now now we want to know about the character constants it consists of single character constant and a string constants both are very simple single character constant it always represents or always written within a single quotes only single digits are allowed it can be of numbers characters and special characters are also allowed consider within a single quotes 9 one example again single quotes s yes. in single quotes exclamatory mark that is the special character and one more property the single character constant have is you can be able to produce that ascii value for a given letter or find the ascii value for a given number this can be done using a consider print of integer for representing integer percentage d comma a what happens when it is represented in a single character constant then a will be the value will be that is a is a character or but we here we are declaring as a integer now the ascii value 97 will be the output similarly 97 in the print of statement 97 number here we are giving the qualifier for format specifier that is percentage c character now the output will be a that is the ascii value for ascii value for the given number 97 is a hope you would be very clear about the single character constant now three types we have finished and then the last one string constants here everything is represented using a double quotes letters numbers special characters and blank spaces everything is allowed consider sai surya's here a blank space is given this is allowed here everything is written in the double quotes even a special character everything can be used sai underscore surya's or everything can be written the special characters are allowed consider hi three exclamatory marks is given this is a string constant here 5 plus 3 is a string constant so this is the string constants definition now the difference between a single character constant and the string constant is 
using a single car character constant we can be able to find the ascii value but when we are using a string constant we cannot be able to find the ascii value it will just print the whatever written within the double quotes we cannot be able to find the ascii value okay now we had discussed about the numeric constant types integer constants real constants and then character constants types single character constants and then the string constants hope you would be very clear that's all for today's video catch you all in next video keep supporting sai surya's academy thank you